some pretty weird borders. Why do the Gulf Coast states look like this? Why do Louisiana and Florida steal a coastline that looks like it should belong to Mississippi and Alabama? Well, under Spain, Florida's panhandle reached as far west as the Mississippi River. But, since the U.S. and Spain were having a conflict over the western borders of Louisiana, and the U.S. wanted to control both banks of the Mississippi River, in 1810, they invaded Spanish Florida and annexed the land west of the Pearl River to Louisiana. Later, during the War of 1812, the U.S. annexed the land west of the Perdita River and made it part of the Mississippi Territory. Then, in 1816, the territory was split vertically roughly in half into Mississippi and Alabama. Why is the Upper Peninsula a part of Michigan? Why not Wisconsin? Or its own state? Well, in 1835, there was a dispute between Ohio and Michigan over a strip of land on Lake Erie. The Toledo Strip. Why? Well, the Northwest Ordinance declared that a state be created from the Northwest Territory with all lands north of a straight east-west line from the southern point of Lake Michigan. That state being... Michigan. Now, based on that, the Toledo Strip should definitely be part of Michigan. But the maps used at the time showed Lake Michigan as being farther north than it actually is. But then, why didn't Ohio just give up the land after the truth was revealed? Well, the Toledo Strip was rich agriculturally, multiple canals were going to be built there, and it included the mouth of the Maumee River. As such, Ohio didn't want to lose Toledo to Michigan. And, since Ohio was a state while Michigan was not, Ohio had a lot more political representation. As such, Ohio was given the Toledo Strip, while as a consolation, Michigan was given the Upper Peninsula. Why does Oklahoma have that skinny panhandle? Why isn't it just part of Texas? Well, it was a part of Texas. Until in 1845, when Texas tried to join the Union. And it wanted to maintain slavery. But, due to the Missouri Compromise, new territories could only permit slavery if they were south of 36 degrees 30. So Texas gave up claim to territories north of that line, some of which is now the Oklahoma Panhandle. But then, why isn't the Oklahoma Panhandle just part of Kansas? Well, look at Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota. They all have three degrees of height. See, Congress wanted states to have similar sizes to each other, which can be seen in the previous example, as well as in Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana all having the same height, and all of these states being the same width. Okay, but if Congress wanted states to be similar sizes to one another, then how come Texas and California are so huge? Well, almost immediately after California was taken from Mexico, gold was discovered there, and so the population exploded. Because of this, California tried to make itself into a state, but it still needed approval from Congress to do so. So why didn't Congress split California into smaller states? Because of how far away California was from other heavily populated areas of the U.S. See, California could have just declared independent from the U.S., and the U.S. would not have been able to take it back. She is practically further removed from us than England. We cannot reach her by railroad, nor by unbroken steam navigation. We can send no army over the prairie, mountain, and the desert. So, since California could do basically whatever they wanted, they made their state stretch as far south as the port of San Diego, and far enough west to include all the Sierra Nevada gold fields. But what about Texas? Well, Texas was an independent country before becoming a state. And it joined the Union at a time when many Americans supported the idea of Manifest Destiny, that America should control all of North America. So America didn't want to force Texas to split into smaller states out of fear that that might make them a few to be annexed. Why does this strip of land even belong to Idaho? Wouldn't it make more sense to be part of Washington? Well, it was part of Washington. But, when gold was discovered in the region, settlers came from different parts of the country. Due to cultural and political differences between these settlers and the people on the Pacific Coast, they split the state roughly at the 117th meridian west. But then, why isn't part of Montana just a part of Idaho? Well, it used to be. But, due to the mountains, there was little to no interaction between the people in these two regions. So Idaho's border with Montana was set at the peaks of the Bitterroot Mountains. Why does Wyoming take what looks like it should be the northeast corner of Utah? Well, there are a few reasons. First, this region was cut off from Utah by the Uinta Mountains, while it was easily accessible from Wyoming. Second, this region was full of coal fields, waterways, and many roadways such as the Oregon Trail passed through it and many members of Congress were worried that Mormons would have too much influence if this region were in Utah. 